Morning, guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Hmm. Well, guys, I have to admit that that was not my first sip of coffee this morning because I'll tell you what, we've been up for a while, but we had such a cold snap over here that it just really kind of, you know, slowed down my day. I wasn't able to kind of get the everything online and doing what I want to do. But in any case, we're back up and here we are. And guys, I'll tell you what, boy, are some big things happening in this space. Now, something I want to talk about this morning is you are seeing major, major exchange out there. In fact, brokers firm Uphold. And what are they doing? Well, Uphold has come out and they have sent multiple lists out in the UK, in Canada, and all this and that, that what they're actually doing is they are going out there and they are literally taking off a ton of various assets, tier four assets off of their platform. And that is a big, big deal because you're talking about XDC is in there, Zillica's in there, you got you know, V-Chain, Cardano, and a whole bunch. And sometimes when I take a look at that, I think, okay, what is the purpose behind that? Like, why are they taking them down and all that? Well, guys, it has to do with the legislation that's being pushed out in these countries. And think about it, in the UK right now, now I've had people write back to me and say, hey, listen, it's not that you have to be an accredited investor. But if you don't answer the questions properly, then Uphold is going to kind of punch you because, you know, the strictness of these KYCs and making sure that you're, you know, able to actually transact in this space. Now, this tells me volumes, guys. I think some big moves are going to be coming in this space. And on top of that, you know, there we see that this space, hey, it's that volatility, right? Where things kind of come crashing down. Same volatility is what affords us the opportunity to see some of these amazing, you know, pumps up. And I often wonder when you're dealing with these exchanges, how they're bringing things in and bringing things off. Look, guys, they are vested to, in this way. They are really plugged in with becoming, you know, regulatory compliant because, of course, the institutional money is really where it's at. And if they can get that, wow, I'll tell you, big, big, big. Mm. But this is where you and I have to be as strategic as we possibly can because the on-ramps and the off-ramps could be getting more and more diminished. Now, this is where I went out there, Judy and I back in 2020 is when we signed up with Caleb and Brown. Now, I know in the UK right now, Caleb and Brown is not even able to take on new clients. That's a big deal too. And I've had people ask me, hey, is there an alternative? Well, I don't know of one just yet. That doesn't mean there isn't one, but I am looking to see if there is an alternative brokerage type like that where you can actually have that kind of you know benefit. Now, for those that are still able to sign on and become KYC with Caleb and Brown, I'll tell you, for me, I have truly, truly enjoyed being a, you know, a patron of Caleb and Brown and have put through literally, we're talking like huge amounts in and out of Caleb and Brown in that way, both in fiat and in crypto, having had no issues whatsoever. And the nice thing I love about that, you know how normally on an exchange, let's say you want to, you know, get your XRP and you want to trade that over for Hedera Hashgraph. Well, you have to, you know, sell your XRP into some sort of a stable coin that has a trading pair with HBAR and all this that. Do you know on Caleb and Brown, you can trade anything for anything. Anything can be a trading pair. You can take your XRP and get your Hedera Hashgraph. You can take a Hedera Hashgraph, get your VeChain, get your XDC and, you know, kind of like get your Flare or whatever. I mean, anything. And so that's a big bonus. Now, for me, really, really enjoy that service. But guys, I'll tell you what, you want to be thinking about your on-ramps and your off-ramps. I have heard people tell me that they are now being limited even through uphold in terms of how much they can actually buy a day, something like $500 a day, and that's all they're allowed or something like that. Now, that seems like a lot if you were to do that each and every day. But remember, it's not so much when the price action of these assets go up and down on a daily, even hourly basis. And if you wanted to put in $5,000, you're going to have to spread that out over, over 10 days wow that put that exposes you to a lot of you know price shifts and stuff like that and so that's another thing to think about but this is happening in this space and i think guys it is a telltale sign of what's coming because you better believe it all these exchanges they want to get out there and be regulatory compliant because the big money the 
major money is going to be the institutional money. It's not the mom and pops. It's not the you and I retail folks that are going to bring in the absolute massive dollars into this space. It is going to be the institutions. And boy, they would change. They would literally change their policies on a heartbeat to satisfy that because, of course, they're in business for those billion dollar trades, right? And stuff like that. Because, boy, they see some trades going through their, their organizations, excuse me, like that. Then you are talking about some serious, serious dough. And that's where I think they're putting it out there. And, of course, you know, they have to be regulatory compliant. Now, having said that, we have had some advocates in this space, haven't we? We've had Brad Garlinghouse with Ripple out there advocating and lobbying with the government for positive, you know, regulatory clarity and action in this space so that it isn't just something that only the big boys can play a part of. But you got pushback from the SEC. Now, the SEC right now in the United States, an accredited investor, someone that has like a million dollars liquid over and above their own principal residence and that kind of stuff, or they've had a high paying job for the last couple of years as a household or whatever it is, and they qualify. Do you know that the SEC is out there pushing a narrative to literally move it up from 1 million to 10 million so someone would have to be accredited? Yep, you guess it. And what do you think they want for this digital asset space? Yes, you better believe it. They want it to be accredited investors. And they're in Canada. They were putting out legislation in various provinces there that they would limit the amount they would even allow you to invest in this space to 30000 a year. Now, that may seem like a lot to some folks. But in reality, that the government can come out. You're not doing anything nefarious, you know. But they can come out and tell you just how much of your money you can actually invest. And to come out and tell you who could be qualified as an investor and stuff like that. Because, oh, wow, we know a lot more than what you do. And I do get it. There has to be protections for sure. But this seems to be very heavy-handed and that type of thing. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. And guys, you got to put this as part of your strategic plan. You got to start thinking a whole lot more than just buying, holding, and selling. You got to think about where you're getting on, where you're getting off, who you're working with, how you're doing it, on and on and on. And this is why it's so vitally important for you to start getting that plan in place. Do not wait on it because I'll tell you what, things can change just like that. And they do change just like that. Now, you don't have to go too far to find out. Just go online and you type in Uphold and type in, you know, the tier four assets that they're removing from their platforms in various jurisdictions around the world. And you're going to find out what I'm telling you is absolutely true. And it will blow your ever loving mind when you see the big long list that they're talking about. And some heavy hitters are inside there to be sure. And this is where you want to have your thinking cap on guys. And what does it tell you? That's how I look at it. That's how I think about it. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, until later on today, I really am planning to have a great video for you. In fact, what's coming out later on today, hopefully, is Judy did an amazing interview with Jake Claver. And guys, I'm telling you, it's not something you're going to want to miss. And I'm hoping to post the first part of that today, if not the whole thing. But anyway, we'll see how that turns out. You know, of course, with you know, sometimes we're subject to the weather and everything that goes on. And since we've been having some issues there, I hopefully we'll be able to get it up and online but later on. But until then, guys, I sure hope you're having an amazing, amazing rest of your week. And this is a holiday here in the United States. And so I sure Sure hope that those of you that are home and enjoying it you get that time with your family and really really have a you know just just make maximize it to the absolute best you can and so guys until later on have a great one and take care